hey guys, just before the video starts, I do want to announce that this was designed by Classia Harp 786 just to give credit where credit is due. They did a really great job on these designs, and I really hope you enjoy them as much as I do. Hey guys, what's going on? My name is Tomogomi, and today we are back here on the Frosted Network channel for another plushy tutorial. Today, we are doing Stampy, Stampy Long Nose, Stampy Long Head, um, whatever you want to call him, the cat, uh, one of the most famous cats probably on YouTube. Um, who does his own lovely world um, Minecraft Let's Plays. So yeah, hopefully you like this design. Again, it was by Classia Harp 786 so credit where credit is due. But anyways, the blocks you'll need to build this little plush are the following. You'll need white wool, light grey wool, yellow stained clay, grey wool, snow, green stained clay and green wool. And with that said, we can now get into actually building our stampy plush. So we're going to start off by building the body. Now the body consists of a 6x6 square for the front and then 6x4 for each side. So what we're going to do is place a row of 6 yellow stained clay. So on top of this essentially we're going to place 5 more layers of 6 blocks and that will give us our 6x6 square which is of course the front of the body. So the second layer is the exact same, it's simply just 6 yellow stained clay. The third layer is 2 yellow, one, uh, 2 white wool and then two yellow. The next layer, the fourth layer is one yellow, four white wool, one yellow. The fifth layer is one yellow, four white wool, one yellow. And the sixth and final layer is two yellow, two white wool, and two yellow. And that gives us a six by six square. Now this is the front of the body complete and now what we're going to go ahead and do is go around to these sides and start working on them and making this 3D. However, if you want to pause here, you are more than welcome to do so. Feel free um, to pause now. Again, I always say it's easier to pause along the way than get to the end of the video and figure out things haven't gone quite to plan. So anyways, for the left side of Mr. Stampy, what we're going to do is extend from this yellow stained clay here. We're going to go 1, 2, 3 to the left and it gives us a backwards L. Now it is 6 tall, 4 wide, however we've got this row here complete, so we're only placing 3 blocks on each row. And simply all we're going to do is place 5 layers on top of 3 yellow stained clay. There is no detail at the sides, it's just simply a 6x4 of yellow stained clay. Now the right side is the exact same, goody. It means very very simple for you guys, and also very simple for me, so I guess that's a positive. Um, but it's the right side again, and that's 6x4. So for the back side, the rear side of the body even easier simply just place six rows of four yellow stained clay you should have a pillar either side or a column either side um, and you just join them together by placing six rows of four yellow stained clay you can go ahead and fill this in here up here using yellow stained clay just to make it more complete you don't have to because it won't be seen anyways um, but it's just like an extra i guess so uh, you can do that if you want so with that said that's the body complete it's as easy as that that didn't take us too long did it so what we're going to do now is do the limbs. Now by the limbs, I mean the legs and the arms. So we're going to start off with the legs. Make sure at the front side, so the side with the white wall right here. And what we're going to do is go to the bottom left corner. We're going to place one white wall and in front of that we're going to place one light grey. Next to that we're going to place one yellow stained clay and one white wall. And essentially we're going to do the exact same mirror but on the right side. So in the top right corner we place one white wall. Next to that we place one yellow. In front of that we place one white wall. And next to that we place one light grey wall. And it gives us something that looks like this. Next what we're going to do. So we have two 2x2 two two squares. We're going to turn them into 2x2x2 two by two by two cubes um, by doing the following. So on top of the left one we're going to place two white wall. Like so. And then next to that, on top of this yellow, we're going to place one yellow. And on top of that, we're going to place one light grey. We're going to do the exact same on the other side. So we place two white wool on the outer side. And on the inside part, we place one yellow and one light grey wool. And that is our feet. It's as simple as that. It's comprised of two 2x2x2 two by two by two cubes. Um, that's a lot of twos, but hopefully you understand. And yeah, I'll show you what it looks like. So this is what it looks like from the left side. This is like the little pattern we got going. And then this is the... Uh, right side of the left foot and then the upper side of the left foot and then for the right foot this is the front the left side the right side and of course the upper side so again very simple pattern um, shouldn't take too long to do and the arms are very very similar so for the arms again it's comprised of a 2x2x2 two 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 cube 
So we're going to start off on the left one first. Simply all we do is go to the top left corner of the front side, the side with the white wall. And then we go out diagonal to the left. What we're then going to do is go one to the left. And then underneath this we're going to place two blocks like so. And that gives us a 2x2 two two square. We're going to do the exact same on the right side. So we go to the top right corner, go out diagonal to side, down one to the left one. It gives us a 2x2 two two square of yellow stained clay. So what we're going to do now is add the pattern because as you may know, Stampy's feet and the hands are like comprised of white and light grey wool in like a stripy pattern. So for the left hand, what we're going to do is in front of the yellow stained clay, we're going to place one light grey. To right of that, one white wool. Down, one light grey. And to the left, one white wool. So it's like a crisscross checkerboard pattern. On the right arm, what we're going to do, left corner, one white wool. Then we're going to place one light grey, white wool, light grey. So it's the exact same, just mirrored. So on this side, top left corner is light grey. This side, it's white wool. So very, very simple. Again, um, easy to confuse. So definitely take your time and pause here if you need to do so. Um, again, it's probably best to pause rather than skipping ahead and getting things wrong. So with that said, we are making really, really nice progress. We are already at the point where we can move on to the head. Again, if you are not at this point so far, definitely go back in the video, see where things aren't going quite to plan, and uh, work from there. If you're still struggling, let me know down in the comments below, and I'll try and help you on a more personalized one-to-one -one basis. Um, so yeah, hopefully that is good. So next, what we're going to do is get our yellow stained clay, and we're going to go to the front side, and we're going to go over to the left side. We're going to place one yellow stained clay, bring it one forwards. We're now working on the head. We're then going to place one grey next to it, two white wool, one grey, and one yellow. Now this is the first layer of the face, but we're not going to worry about that for now. Simply all we're going to do is go around to the right side, and we're going to expand it backwards. One, two, three, four, five. Then we go around to the back. One, two, three, four, five. And then link it back together by placing three blocks like so. And that gives us a six by six square. Now essentially this is the base plate of the head. The head is a six by six by six cube. So we've got the front side, which is, of course, the face, left side, right side, and rear side of the head. Um, and we're going to work on the front side first, a.k.a. the face. So the first layer of the face we got so far consists of one yellow stained clay, one grey, two white wool, one grey, one yellow stained clay. The second layer of the face is one grey, four white wool, one grey. The next layer, and this is where things um, you have a bit more of a customizability, I'm using snow because it stands out. You could use either quartz or iron, and I'll show you what looks uh, what it looks like, I guess, between the difference. Um, but the reason why we're not using white wool is because if you use white wool, you'll see in a second, it'll connect up the eyes and the face, and it'll look super, super weird, um, and that's not what we want to do. So the next layer is one snow, one green wool, two white wool, one green wool, one snow. The second layer is one snow, one green stained clay, two white wool, one green stained clay, one snow. The next layer is one grey wool, one white wool, two yellow stained clay, one white wool, one grey wool, and the last but not least layer, the sixth layer, is six yellow stained clay. Now once you've done that, it looks something like this, and as you can see, the eyeballs, which is this two by two square on either side, kind of blend in with the white wool a bit, um, and it's not something I particularly like, but it's not something I can particularly change either. So what you can do potentially, if you really want it to stand out, you could use iron blocks, um, because they have a more defined outline that stands out quite nicely. However, again, they have a bit more of a grey appearance to it, so you could use quartz. Again, that blends in a bit too much with the white wool. We really want to try and distinguish a difference between the white wool and the eyeballs. Again, it looks alright, you can do whatever you want. I'm, again, going to use snow because it has a bit of a texture on it. Um, and that, in my eyes, is probably the nicest point. So, again, just to like make sure it's all clear, this is part of the face. And then this is the eyes. Now, the reason why it looks a bit weird, um, in my eyes, in some sense, is because we're lacking a mouth. You could essentially replace those two there and put two light grey wool or put two light grey wool right here to comprise of a mouth. However, again, it looks a bit weird and we're in really confined space, so I'm not gonna add that. Um, and instead, we're gonna keep it without a mouth and it's gonna be a bit of a, like a chibi kind of appeal. Um, so it's gonna be a bit cartoony. One last thing we're gonna do to the front of the head before we move on to the sides is we're gonna come to the top left corner. We're gonna leave one block, two block, and then to three, 
uh, and four we're going to place two yellow stained clay. Underneath the fourth block we're going to place one and it's going to be a little uh, quiff of hair which the character has on the front as well as the sides but we'll worry about the sides later on in the video. Talking of the sides of the head, what we're going to do now is go around to the left side and we're simply just going to work our way around the template that we've already got building up five all the way across um, out of yellow stained clay. Now once you've done that it will look something like this, that's a 6x6. Six six. If you incorporate these four blocks here that would be a 6x6 six six of yellow stained clay. We're going to continue this going around to the back of the head now so we build up five all the way across and uh, it will give us four sides which is 6x6x6. Six by six by six. That's the left side, right side, rear side and top because we're going to go ahead and fill the top in right now using our yellow stained clay and that will just leave us with a small thing to add which is of course the 3D hair quiff thingy mabob effects. So yeah, as you can see, this is the left side, 6x6, six six, the rear side, 6x6 six six, and the right side, 6x6. Six six. Perfect. So, as I said, what we're going to do now is add the little like hair effects. So we're going to go around to the left side now and to the top right corner. We're going to leave not one block, but two. So on the third block from the right, we're going to place a yellow stained clay. And then we're going to go down diagonal twice, like so. We're then going to go up diagonal, up one, and then up diagonal to right and link across like so. And then in this middle section here, which is comprised of a three block gap, we're going to place three white wool. And that is the little quiff of hair that goes at the side. Now we're going to go around to the other side and mirror that. So we go to the top left corner, we leave two blocks, we place one, go down diagonal to right twice. Up diagonal, up, and then up diagonal and connect like so. And it gives us a shape like this. And then we're going to place our free white wall right there like so. Now if you come to the top of the head now, you'll notice that these two blocks on either side stick up. What we're going to do is on the left side, we're going to place two blocks next to it. And then on the right side, we're going to place two on the left. And that gives us a two by two square on either side. And that's like the little effect on the top. And once you've done that, that is it. That is your plushie complete and you have built your very own Stampy plush. So I'm going to get rid of my arm and all the stuff in my inventory. I'll do a little spin around before we end off the video. Um, so as you can see, here we got our little Stampy plush. We got the left side and we got the right side. So anyways, hopefully you did enjoy. If you did and you do like this kind of stuff, then definitely consider checking out my main channel um, where I focus purely on doing tutorials on statues, pixel arts, and plushies. Um, and yeah, if you do check it out and you do like it, definitely consider subscribing. I'll leave a link to that in the description as well as a link to the other two channel directors, Give Us Gaming and Jared Gaming. If you want to check out their content, it's also really good. Uh, but yeah, anyways, hopefully you enjoyed. If you did, definitely consider leaving a like, subscribe to this channel if you haven't. I know it's a bit of like a task. You've got a list of channels to subscribe to, but hopefully you do. It's really appreciated if you do. Um, leave a comment what you want, what you liked about the tutorial, what you didn't like about the tutorial. That was a mouthful. Um, and yeah, with that said, I'm going to leave the video off here because I can't pronounce my words properly now. It's it's getting too much for me. Um, so yeah, thank you very much for watching. Until next time, my name has been Tomogomi and goodbye. Eyes in the sky, gazing far into the night. I raise my hand to the fire but it's no use cause you can't stop it from shining through it's true baby let the light shine through if you believe it's true baby won't you let the light shine through for you